Hello, uh, today we're going to talk about data lake query engines, specifically Trino and Starox, and how the two compare for different use cases, right? Um, now let's get started. So what is Trino? Uh, Trino is a query engine that was really a game changer when it came out, right? For data lakes. It has an MPP architecture, do everything in memory. It's way faster than MapReduce. It brought the query latency from hours down to minutes on massive amount of data, right? And what it's really good at is actually querying over heterogeneous data sources. It's written in Java, right? It's really optimized toward writing great connectors really fast, right? And that was exactly what the users were asking for back then, right? To um, query their data in place, whether it's in a TP database or it's in a data lake, right? Query them in place and get okay performance, right? And what is Starox? Starox might look pretty similar uh, to Trino, but it's actually built for a completely different use case, right? Uh, it's an open source SQL engine that delivers a data warehouse like performance on a data lake. Instead of connecting to many data sources and get okay performance, Starox is designed to connect to a few data sources, a few data lake or data lake houses and get the best possible performance. Instead of writing written in a higher level language, you know, to uh, build connectors faster. Starless is actually written in C++, right, to get the best possible query performance. And it's also MPP architecture, run everything in memory as well, right? And with all of the optimizations, it's able to do sub-second query latencies with very high concurrency to enable users to run really demanding data warehouse-like workloads directly on their data lake or data lake houses. So let's first see a performance comparison. Starox is 4.62 times faster than Trino on a TBCDS one terabyte benchmark test. So TBCDS is those uh, uh, high cardinality aggregations and a lot of joins, right? Really OLAP kind of like, like those complex ad hoc scenario. And Starox is four and a half times faster than Trino on this. It's even with Trino on the new JDK 21, it's supposed to be getting that um, CMD boost, right, from the JDK upgrade. So how to choose be between the two? You should consider Trino if you have many data sources to connect and you want to perform your analytics in place, right? And also you want to use Trino if you don't really care about performance as much as, you know, connectivity to different data sources. And also if you are using Trino, you want to prepare yourself. You know, if you have a actual intensive workload, you might need a high performance data warehouse, uh, you know, down, down the line, you know, if you have those workloads that you have to run. Also, you want to consider Starox if you are looking to get the most demanding workload done directly on your data lake or data lake house system, right? And you want the best cost efficiency for your data lake or data lake house compute, right? Um, thank you. Uh, this is actually all I have. Uh, we do have a detailed Starox versus Trino webinar uh, that's recorded. You can watch the on demand. I'll put the link down in the description. Um, so now today is really the day to get data warehouse-like performance on a data lake. So to learn more about Starros, you can join the Slack channel, you can check out Starros on GitHub. And also there is a cloud managed version of Starros called Seller Data Cloud. You can register Seller Data Cloud and get, get your 30 day free trial. And thank you. Uh, see you guys again in the next video.